Can you see me good? I need them to hear me. Yeah. Can y'all hear me? All right, yeah. let's get it, man. Is that good? Am I good? All right, man, what's cracking, man? It's your boy, Scoop. Shout out to Rax Gang. Shout out to RNBC. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get into to my prediction blog, which I really didn't want to do. I ain't want to do it, but I got to fucking do it, man. Period. You know what I'm saying? It's got to go down. So, my camera's a little fucked up right now. So, I'm going to just be uh, using my Mac. You know what I'm saying? The camera on there. Fuck it. It don't even matter what I'm using. Just keep it 100. All right, look. First off... For me even taking this battle, you lucky. No, I'm fucking with you. Look, uh, all right, let's just get into Chronic Chronic L's versus QP. We're supposed to be a one rounder. We were trying to get QP on another card that we have coming up, and the people that we are trying to get to come do that card are not fucking with QP, so he will not be on this card. So I apologize for even putting that on, but. It's a little jump in the gun by myself, so I can let everybody know that's not my partner's fault, it's my fault, you know what I'm saying, and I take full responsibility for that one, you know what I'm saying, I jumped out the bag, but there it is, alright, um, fucking let's go to the matchups that are happening, the first matchup, these are in order, the first matchup that is happening is City Cows, Fucking versus RNBC Dean. I'm not gonna say who I think is gonna win. I'ma just say, to be politically correct, who's the motherfucking who should be the underdog in these situations. Dean is just coming off a loss against D uh, D Banks. The, the battle versus Banks was. Fucking one sided totally in the building. It was very, it was a lot closer on camera, but still, nonetheless, it was a loss for Dean. And I feel like he's a person who takes his shit serious. But a lot of people don't know that fucking he had someone that canceled on him, so he had to switch up his whole shit, you know. So I'm excited to see what he has versus City Cows. City Cows is supposed to be on the last card. It didn't happen because someone didn't show up. You know what I mean? So we've gone, we've we've gone ahead and made sure that we can make sure that people can be there and show up and be on time and, and everything. So um, yeah, the underdog is definitely City Cows because he's never battled on a platform yet, and Dean has. So and he's experienced a loss already, which everybody who really battles knows it's good to experience a loss early. You know, so that you can go back to the drawing board. So I think Dean should definitely be the fav favorite in this matchup. I'm not saying he's gonna win. You know what I'm saying for y'all political motherfuckers. I'm just saying that he should definitely be the favorite person. Okay. Next we're going to uh, Waz the Monster versus Dice. A lot of people don't know Dice. I personally know Dice. You know what I'm saying a lot of people aren't gonna know who he is. I know. I know Dice is gonna come with it. I know Waz is gonna come with it. You know what I'm saying? Um, Waz is coming off a really debatable as battle with Basket Case. And apparently he didn't even prepare that much. So we want to see what the fuck he got. It's time to make this shit count. You know what I'm so we're going to make that count. Um, yeah, him versus Dice. Dice has never battled on the platform. Doesn't matter how nice you are, you never battled on the platform. You know what I'm saying? So you don't know how they're going to respond to that. I'm personally not going to say who I'm picking, but I'm going to say who should be the fucking underdog. Dice should be the underdog. Waz the Monster should be favored because he's been on this platform. You know what I'm saying? He's going to already know a little bit more of what to do. Okay. Um, then we got Sandman versus Filthy. You know what I'm saying? That shit is going to be crazy too. I like that battle. Um, it's They both have a lot to prove. They both have definitely stepped it up from uh, their first battles. And um, I'm 
So it's hard to really say who should be favored. But in my estimation, I believe Sandman should be favored in this matchup because um, he's just, I don't know. I just feel like he should be favored. I don't know how to even explain that. Oh, my God. Fuck it. Let's just keep it 100. I'm going to say that Sandman should win this battle. And if, I mean, Filthy could show up, you know, and do whatever, you know what I'm saying, he do his thing. I'm not saying he's weak or something. Uh, but as far as who should be favored in the battle with bars, I believe Sandman should. After his last showing and Filthy's last showing. And um, their, both of their first showings was not as impressive. So they're kind of on the same playing field. But I would just edge that favored possibility to Sandman. You know, so there's definitely more sa put more pressure on Sandman to perform in this one than Filthy, I believe. Okay. And then we got... The first all-female battle in Pittsburgh history. Let's get it popping. You know what I'm saying? We got Yoko Hayes versus Nino Cash. Rax. You know what I'm saying? I see you out here. Um, damn. They both haven't been on a platform, so. Um, but. Honestly, um. Just going from their music history, uh, I would have to say that, or going from what I've heard on tracks and how they rap and how I think that it might translate into the battle community, I think uh, Yoko Hayes should be the favorite, as it were. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm rolling. I think uh, Yoko should be the favorite. I think that shit's gonna be probably the closest, maybe even the battle of the night. If both of them girls come with it, because the whole crowd is gonna wanna see the females. Because it's something different, so they're gonna show them a lot more love. I know how these things go. Um, yeah, so I would have to say Yoko is the favorite and Nino is the underdog. You know? But I wouldn't say by much, same thing as, as Filthy and Sam. And it's just, it's close, you know, it could go either way, so. And then the main event that I really want to see probably the most is King Will versus D Banks. Now, the fucking King Will beat Sandman first the first time in this showing, clearly. Um, D Banks won his first time, clearly, and they both came at each other. So it only made sense to make it happen, you know. And both in this battle for both of them is gonna really count, you know, because they, they from their first battle, this battle could catapult them into maybe a new realm of this battleship because, you know, we're trying to advance artists here at Street Talk. And we're not doing this shit for ourselves. There's not really any money monetized. There's nothing to monetize. We're not making that much money, if any, losing more than we're making. But just trying to make it happen, you know, and, um, we want to show the world that Pittsburgh got talent, so come out and show support for these motherfuckers. And if they, if you like the bars, you could cheer. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like the bars, you know what I'm saying? You could just be silent. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to fucking talk through their whole shit. But, uh, yeah, with all that being said, fucking, King, let's be real. King Will's the favorite in that battle. Everybody knows that um, everybody likes King Will as their favorite. For the most part, between him and Chronic Elves, it's real close, but a lot of people are liking King Will. And, oh my God, yeah, I forgot a battle. Basket Case versus Fat Rat, you kidding me? How the fuck I forget that shit? All right, Basket Case uh, on his last battle, um, he battled Waz the Monster 2-1 either way. You know, that's what a lot of people are calling it. You know, I personally gave that battle the basket case. You know, so. Um, and um, he's battling Fat Rat, who has arguably won every battle and been on every card on Street Talk. 
You know, yeah, the debatable. It was a crazy. That that's the closest battle I believe on our channel it is Sandman versus Fat Rat. Go check that out. And then he body bag Ghost pretty bad. You know, but it was Ghost's first time and he didn't really prepare correctly. So, um, but I believe whether you think he's caught people at the right time or not, he's shown up every time. And I think that Fat Rat um, should be definitely the favorite in this battle. Going off of his past battles, he's been battling for a long time. And it uh, seems like he knows what to do in the ring. So this is a good fucking matchup for Basket Case to see where he's at. And a good ass battle for uh, Fat Rat to just prove that he still got what he got. You know, that he's still ready. Um, like I said, we will be announcing very big news real soon. I'm saying so stay tuned. I want to announce it at the show um, lot, Some people already know a little bit, but you know, we got a lot of shit coming and Not only that, but we got some other shit that y'all don't know about coming up. You know what I'm saying we just keep working around the clock um, Yeah, that's about it. That's what I think should be favored and I'm just putting it up like that man